Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I am Miss Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I'm going to go through with you one of the apparatus that can be found in the school lab to study motion. What we're looking at here is a photo of the linear air track. So how does it work? Okay, basically, it's used to study linear motion. And if you recall what the word linear means, it means in a straight line. So you can see over here, this track is linear because it's a straight line. The black color things over here will act as the objects which we will study motion. These things here are the photogates. So um, how it works is we will get these black objects to move across the track. And as they move across these photogates, the timer will take the time for the motion. So let's say we want to study motion and we want to let's say, determine the speed of the, uh, the the black color object. I'll call it the trolley in this case. I know it's not a trolley, but uh, going old school style, it's called a trolley. I mean, we'll call it a trolley. So let's say we want to move this black uh, trolley and we want to observe, uh, we want to calculate the speed of this particular black trolley. Now, if you recall, the formula for speed is distance over time. So in order to determine the speed of the trolley, what we need to do is we need to get the distance distance and time to get the distance what we need to do is we need to set these two photo gates at a fixed distance now it's not obvious from this picture but um if you see the apparatus in real life um the actual measurement is on the other side actually there's a measuring tape you know along the track with the distance measured out what you can do is you select the distance place these two photo gates at a fixed distance. Let's say, for example, you can set it at one meter, or if you like, you can set it at, you know, half a meter or 1.5 meters, whatever distance that, um, you know, you'd like to investigate. As the trolley moves, it will cut across the light sensor across the timer. So the photo, the word photo gate, photo means light. So the gate is like the barrier, ding, ding, ding. So what happens is, there's a sensor over here, and as the trolley moves, it will cut across the sensor, initiating the timer. And as it cut across the second photo gate, it will stop the timer. And there'll be a device that shows us the time taken. So if you want to calculate speed, it's just the distance that we have set over the timer indicated on the device. I'll show you what the um, device that shows the timer look like. Okay but uh, in the next slide. So this one first to show you a close up of the sensor. So this is the photo gate. Here's the sensor. So as an object passes across the sensor, it triggers the device to either start recording the time or to stop recording the time. So even if you like right now, if you switch it on, just wave your hand between the empty space and observe the timer. You'll see that there's a time indicator. So I'm going to play the video to show you how the apparatus works. This is the vacuum pump um, on the right hand side here. So you need to switch it on. So the reason why there's a vacuum pump here is to create a frictionless track. Let's just backtrack to the photo, right? So if you try to move these trolleys right now without switching on the pump, you'll find that it's quite hard to do so. The friction is quite high. So this black color thing at the end here, when you switch it on, it blows air that, uh, you know, it blows air uh, above the track between the trolley and the track so that it creates a frictionless surface and that way the trolleys can glide across the track. So let's take a look. You can see we switch it on. Okay, that thing in the middle is the timer. So what you need to do is you need to push the trolley. You can see how the timer, sorry, the photo gate turns red as the object passes and you can see the time written on the timer. And you can see over there, that's the measuring tape. Now, if it doesn't work, you do need to switch on the timer. I forgot to take a photo of the, the timer. You need to switch it on and click the mode. There are several modes you can uh, you can give a try. So you just click, you'll see mode. There's, I think there's period, there's interval, there's timer. Try out those different modes and you'll be able to see how this PhotoGate um, device measures the time for the trolley as it moves across the air track. I'll play one more time for you to see. So switch it on. Right, and you need to nudge the trolley first. You can nudge one or you can nudge both. You can give that a try. 
You can see how it, as it glides across, it starts and stops the timer. Okay. You can do this from both directions. Hold on, it's playing again. I'm trying to go to the next slide. There we go. You can see here. How fast the trolley moves, of course, depends on how fast you push it. So if you push it with more force, it's going to move faster. If you push it slowly, it's going to glide really slowly. And there you go. That's the time. So that's how um, this particular apparatus works in, uh, in school lab to investigate motion. I think for some schools, there's only one of this device. So normally this is not used um, in group work by students. This is normally used as a demonstration unit. So the uh, teacher would demonstrate this to the students. Or if you really want to use this to study motion, you get permission from your teacher and uh, you can take turns to use this device to study motion. So the great thing about this air track is that it can be used to study, you know, one trolley or two trolleys and or an alternative, uh, which I need to take, uh, haven't taken a video, I'll take it next time. You can even study momentum. So for example, one trolley, you know, this way, one trolley colliding with another trolley and you can investigate the momentum before and after collision. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to go to the next slide. Okay, and... Uh, that's the end of my video. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like these. Um, I do plan to take more videos on um, physics lab apparatus and physics experiments and even home experiments, meaning experiments you can do at home. Hope you enjoyed this video.